it's morning time. I have absolutely no idea what time it is. And I have absolutely no idea what time I went to sleep. What I can tell you is that I can tell you that I was not asleep sometime around 2 o'clock. And that I still feel tired. One lives in their Jeep, such as I. There's really not a lot of space back here, and I slept in an Anytime Fitness parking lot last night because um, I can't venture off. I really wanted to go camping while when I came down here. But that was the original plan, was to come down from Phoenix, come back to Prescott, go camping, and you know just enjoy nature again because there's some really cool camping spots out here. But, because my phone broke, I don't even know like how to get to these camping spots. And I'm sure I can find them, but I'm not entirely sure I could find my way back into town. I feel like I would just spend a lot of time running around loose. And on top of that, because I don't have my phone, if something happened, I can't call anyone. I can't, like, I'd be completely stranded. So, um, anyway, the tuna packet things that Jen was talking about are these right here. And they work great. Look at these. The deli style tuna salad right now, it's like an instant sandwich. Some of them are a little different, like they have like ranch and different things. I got pink salmon, I want to try that. I don't know if it'd be good as a sandwich, but like they had like different flavors. I have an jalapeno one that I made a sandwich out of yesterday. I have mayonnaise so I can like double task if I want to make the rest of these as a sandwich. But I found out the deli tuna style, it doesn't even need it because it's basically already a tuna salad. <laughs> I have nothing better to do, so I was at Method Coffee all day, and uh, Kai has so much energy, he was just throwing a fit, even sitting outside, so I decided, you know what? Dog park's just down the street, get some run on. Hopefully I can get him tired out for later today in case we have to drive all the way back to Midland, but we'll see. You guys wanna know what it's really like to live with a husky? I guess you might not really be able to tell, but basically these are some of my favorite pair of Ray-Bans actually. In fact, I like these so much that if I hadn't already made this an icon to my channel, I might actually wear these all the time. These guys are awesome. I love these glasses. Now, I found out that it's really difficult to leave glasses in a vehicle, especially in my Jeep because the heater vent the defroster is like right on the dash, which is where I usually would place my glasses because I had nowhere else to place them. At some point I realized I don't know what I'm doing. I might as well have just gotten these things, which I got, the sun visor clamps. Put that up there, you put your glasses up on the sun visor clamp, bada bing, bada boom, everything is as good as new. So that's exactly what I did with these glasses. That way, when it's kind of like not too bright outside and I don't feel like wearing these, I want something light to wear on my head, I got these. They also fit better with like beanies and hats because they're the wire lenses. It's kind of similar to, um, kind of similar to like aviators, I guess you could say. It's got a very aviator feel to them. But I really like these glasses. I love the color of the lens, the style. I think they look fantastic. I especially think they look good on my face. If you can't tell right now. And yeah. So basically Kai chewed up my glasses and he bent them up too. He actually had already bent them up pretty bad um, one other time previously and now they just look even better. I suppose I might be able to warp it back into shape 
but even if I can bend these back into place, I cannot fix the dents in the lenses. Yeah, that kind of sucks pretty bad. Not super happy about it. I might actually try to just keep them. I still love them, but seriously, my dog is going to drive me crazy. Anyway, since I have nothing better to do, I might as well talk to you guys about what's going on. So I am at the Method Coffee right now. Nothing interesting has really happened today. I've literally been like here, I think, all day. I came here this morning, um, just kind of hung out because, like I said, I had nothing better to do. I took Kai to the dog park, and that was about my day. It is already almost 5 o'clock. Um, I have not got my phone yet. I am still waiting on Verizon to get my phone ready, and I think with the current events and with just how everything's going, I think that as soon as I get my phone, I'm just gonna beeline it to Midland. Um, I have like $50 worth of gas, that's all I got. I'm just gonna head straight there, I think. So I think the sooner I get to Midland, the better. I'm already drowsy, so I don't know if it's the safest for me to drive, but I figure I'll just drive until I'm tired. Thankfully, with the new LED headlights, driving at night isn't as much of a problem as it used to be. I even compete with a lot of modern cars' headlights. Those things are awesome. Actually, I was actually editing uh, the videos right now, and I realized that I really haven't get, kept you guys posted exactly on what's going on with the Jeep. So it turns out my alternator's not going out. Everything checked out on it. I think I just had so much stuff powering that it was really draining down the alternator. But, I mean, everything's still running good. The Jackery is working great. The way I have it set up right now, I have the Jackery charging off my power inverter. I found out that's the best way to do it. Except for the fact that I'm probably going to be ending the road trip soon. Now, this is not a permanent ending. I don't want anyone to think that I'm not going to be doing anything interesting from now on. I still intend to try to get some kind of career or job or whatever else I'm going to do in a way that I can still vlog every single day or at least sub every day, so maybe every other day or so. Um, I enjoy doing this. It's what I'm passionate about. I want to make this a full-time thing, but Kai, you're dragging the table now. Until I get everything figured out, I'm not going to be able to do this full-time. Um, if nothing else, I'm going to be able to spend Christmas with uh, friends and family, so it's really not going to be that bad. Um, I didn't really do anything for Thanksgiving, at least nothing exciting. So it'll all work out in the end. I'm pretty confident about it. Not too worried about it. I'm just really waiting to get my phone. I haven't had my phone all day, and like I'm trying to like post stuff, reply about stuff. It's just a pain in the butt. <laughs>